Damn, the camera's shaking. I don't know why it's shaking. Okay, anyway, how'd it go? Um, we all know what's happening. A lot of us still stuck at home, got nothing to do, or if we have something to do, but we're doing the same things over and over and over again, and we're getting tired of it. For my aviation people who I know <laughs> really, who <laughs> really sick and tired of being home, I'm included. I got a little something that may help, that may help pass time is aviation related. As long as you have a phone or a computer, you may be able to play it. It's called Airline Manager 4. You may have heard of other iterations of it, but well, previous past versions of it. It's addicting, it's time consuming, and once you really get into it, you're really going to like it. Uh, fun fact, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm not being sponsored to it, I just like the game. I've been playing it for the last three months, and during this whole entire thing of time, it really kept me preoccupied and keep me sane for the most part. <laughs> So let me at least give my take on it, a little bit of insight of the game, and if you want to, hop on and let's see how far you get. Ready? Let's go. So this is the home screen of Airline Manager 4. It looks bland at first until you look at the seven tabs on the right side of the screen. They present the fundamentals of the game. In order, they are hubs, overview, routes, fuel, maintenance, finance, board and help, bonus and increases. Now I'm only going to focus on five of them and I'll address them later. There is no particular order to use the tabs but they include everything you need to play the game. As such, I'm going to break down everything like this is my usual morning ritual. Okay, so first things first, let's head into the fuel tab. Now, fuel is self-explanatory, so I don't have to go into details about that. CO2, on the other hand, is a new addition to this version of Airline Manager, where you have to balance out your company's CO2 footprint. By having a positive amount of quotas, you can be categorized as eco-friendly, which in turn will increase your airline's reputation. More on that in a bit. Below, you will see the capacity of both tanks. I'm showing you the CO2, and then if you hit the sub tab here, you'll see the fuel. You'll see the capacity of what both tanks can hold and how much fuel quarters, <laughs> how much fuel and or CO2 quarters, pardon me, you are holding. <laughs> you are also provided a line graph that shows you the various price of both. Uh, where they are right now the fuel price is not where I want it to be to purchase and the CO2 price it's getting there but I don't want to purchase it at that price it helps as it gives you an insight to when prices will become favorable for me when the CO2 prices goes under $110 that's good for me and for fuel anytime it goes under $400 that's real nice for me it doesn't reflect real time but it's it's useful the prices change every 30 minutes on the hour so keep that in mind next up we'll go into maintenance which is the fourth top this shows your fleet and what state your aircraft are in there are two types of maintenance repair and a check repairs can be done to fix your aircraft wear damage usually it is highlighted once the plane is worn down about 50 percent so right now if i was to go and see any of my aircrafts that already landed none of them are showing that they need to be repaired so i'm good there usually they are highlighted once the plane is worn down about 50 percent any repairs performed can be done either at your airline's hub or at the final destination HX is a little different. Just like in real life, all aircrafts must undergo an A check or C check, B check, D check, whichever one it is. But this one is an A check. <laughs> After a certain amount of flight hours or cycles, this must be done in order to keep the aircraft airworthy and can only be performed at your airline hub. So keep that in mind. And right now, if I was to check and see which one of my airplanes need to go under an A check, I'm looking at one right now. One of them, this CM787, needs to go under actually right now because I was to check is 18 and it's at my hub, so I'll perform that right now. And I'm pretty sure I have another one that needs to go under A check. This is Embraer E195 E2 and the next one, but I'm not going to focus on that. Now we are going into the finance tab. 
With this one is really in depth, so stay with me as I try to explain this. The first one of the sub tabs uh, is about staff, and this is where you monitor the daily salary of your airline staff. Uh, that's your pilots, the flight um, crew members, the engineer, the technicians. Basically, all you're doing is just doing pay raises, pay cuts, and making sure that their morale is adequate. Minds are not adequate, but I'm not touching them because <laughs> giving them pay raises is not the best. But it's up to you. This is my airline, and you can run your airline the way you want to run yours. Uh, next is to the training section where you can earn extra perks for the airlines via training points. These training points are awarded every time you level up and you level up by performing flights basically. You can track that progress from the green horizontal bar on the home screen. It should be right here. Um, it's, there, it's not there anymore because I just got a training point. <laughs> the second tab is marketing. Now this one is really important. There are two types of marketing. Airline reputation which I still have going which is going to go for another four or so minutes. Airline reputation will boost the rating of your airline depending on the duration chosen and how well maintained your fleet is. And then if I was to go into a new campaign you also see eco-friendly. Now this reflects on the CO2 quotas you have in total. The remaining CO2 quotas, as long as they are positive, your airline ratings will boost. You will need to make sure that, the at least just make sure, keep check of your CO2 quotas, make sure that this number is green. If it's not green, you will not get the bonus. Just keep that in mind. Your final tab in finance will be stocks. I'm not going to go well too much into stocks, but if you at the end of this video decide to play this game, um, drop the name of your airline down in the comments below and I'll invest in it. Now we're back on the home screen and we're going into hubs and overview, which is the very first tab. This is where I spend most of my time. This is where you depart and monitor your fleet. Now, if I go back into the finance tab and look at more of my airline's reputation, you see I have two minutes left. Um, I'm going to go close this out and I'm going to check and see which of my airplane is half already landed and if any of them are going to land within the time frame or before my marketing is up. I do not see none so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let these planes take off and boom look at that that's a lot of money. <laughs> That's basically the gist of it. This is where you monitor your fleet. I also forgot to mention that when you first start this game, you are given the choice between a Boeing 737-800 and an Airbus A320 as your starting aircraft. So you have a choice between which one of those two you want to be your starting aircraft for your airline. Um, there are three sub tabs here. Um, of course, Hub shows you the basic overview of your airport basic details nothing too spectacular about it um, going into the overview overview breaks down everything cost wise about your airline and it's pretty in-depth with brief information like fleet flight operation and packs it's quite interesting now the other sub tab isn't really a tab at all it's actually the star that's on the top left if you can see that and the cameras are focusing but it's actually the star that's right there so once you hit that star that actually takes you to your alliance page if you successfully join an alliance this is where you can chat to your fellow alliance members and you can view the contributions that you made in the alliance being an alliance member have, has its benefits um, as it can also earn you additional aid, income through the joint co-share that comes with the alliance so keep in, just keep that in mind. Now we finally reach Roots which is the second tab. This is packed full of much needed tools. The first sub tab shows you your routes and how much passengers are flying on a particular route. You can just browse through 
all the routes that you are flying through, the types of aircraft, the duration, the flight number, everything is all there, including pending aircraft, like if they're going into maintenance or if they're being delivered, any, any aircraft that isn't doing anything, you'll see them all right there. The second tab, and this is going to be the favorite tab for a lot of people, is the order tab. And this tab, <laughs> wow, I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> This is the place where you browse through the catalog of various manufacturers selecting the aircraft that you want to be a part of your fleet. And this is diverse from the likes of Airbus, Antonov, Beechcraft, Boeing, Bombardier, you name it. It's really diverse. And the final tab is a research tab. And here is where you look for our potential routes you may want to fly for a particular aircraft. It sounds easy, but it really isn't because you have to focus on max distance of the aircraft and also the runway length that the aircraft can operate on or if the airport even has that. Uh, or if you want to search for specific air, uh, air airports via the city or vice versa, you can. And I'm not gonna focus on the advanced routes because you need to unlock that. But that's pretty much it for the routes tab. And so that's pretty much it with the game. However, things may get a little overwhelming the larger your airline becomes. So much so that you may have to joint down details about your airline and what direction you want to head in. Especially regarding <laughs> your fleet. I still don't know why I'm laughing. For me, I use OneNote to seek my notes between my phone, tablet, and computer depending on what device I'm using to double check and make edits and trust me you will make edits don't mind the way my fleet is looking now I mean don't look at this route map and if I show you the exact aircraft that I have in my fleet don't mind this this can change depending on several factors for example if I come out of this on the top right of the screen camera can focus you will see a green and black bar. Now, these green and black bars represent the amount of CO2 and the fuel capacity that you have. The fuel capacity is rather small in this version of the game, and depending on what aircraft you choose to operate can result in depleting resources. That means that's more money you have to spend, and nobody likes that. Of course, you can increase the size of the tank if you want, However, that will take sometimes actual money and in a way I count that as training but if you want to, you can. The game awards you points for random things but it isn't a lot so take that as you may. Overall, if you are looking for a game to help pass times in this troubling time that we're in right now, um, go ahead, I highly recommend it. You don't necessarily need to know anything about aviation, but it is a bonus. But remember, it will become irritating at times, so just be careful. Take your time and you'll get through it. Uh, the game's available for Android, iOS, and PC via the website. <laughs> um, also, if you have a Facebook account, you can play it on Facebook as well. So that is it. Game Airline Manager 4. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching and read the link.